get your numbers in sequence with number sequence hey i'm eric and um today's video starts um in an unusual place because the to, today's video kind of starts uh in a single field with a lot of impact and and the the single field with a lot of impact we um we find here and let me see if i can actually made this is these are number series uh, so not something that we usually spend that much time on on this channel but but they they do have a kind of a cool thing so if we look at the number series they're, they're just a starting number and all that good stuff but so there is allow gaps in number series so what does that mean well number series traditionally uh, historically was kind of a uh, a bottleneck when it came to uh, came to table locking way back in in the native database uh, uh, there was a whenever you wrote to a table you actually locked the entire table you you locked more than just the record or the page or whatever you locked the entire table so you basically that would ensure that only one posting could happen at time if the posting required a number like an invoice number or so on um, with sql that was slightly better because now we can have multiple locks in the same table and so on uh, but still the problem is that if you have a long if if, if you're locking the the sales invoice number uh, table or the record holding the, the next number for sales invoices well if you have a you want to post a lot of sales invoices you have they have to happen in series and they have to wait completely uh, wait for one complete invoice to be posted before the next one could start so microsoft came up with the uh, beautifully named field allow gaps in nos uh, for some reason and I, I, and this still baffles me today maybe i need to start a uh, now that i'm done with getting account schedule renamed and jobs renamed maybe the next one is to get the no series uh to get renamed to number series because i think i think we have no we can afford the room those um four extra letters will will occupy um no number series, no series anyway allow gaps in nos allow gaps in number series uh meaning that Microsoft is doing something else um, and uh, the fact is that it's done uh, down on the SQL you grab a number and and that is a a transaction by itself that does not impact whatever you're doing uh, else so, so you can get a number but the number you get is not getting rolled back if if your posting fails and you got a number well the number you got you had that and and it's not giving back for somebody else to use it because that would again imply a sequence and and what we're trying to accomplish here is is working in parallel um so in some in some places and some jurisdictions and so on you have to have all your stuff in 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 sequence there cannot be gaps in 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 the series so that's kind of how this thing came around that if you want to use this you have to accept that there can be gaps in the series um, and then next to it there's the uh, the field that says how is this implemented well it's either normal which is just al code a, a record uh, increment a string and so on or sequence but what is what is sequence actually so let me show you so if we go back in to al um, then we can take a look at so let's call it this right so there's actually a data type called no that's not i am i'm i'm i am i'm kidding no that's not sorry got to confuse myself there is a static class called number sequence i, I always want this to be a variable for some reason and number sequence um is the magic so this is so this is this is the uh the new thing that you know you 
we got isolated storage we got a bunch of different things that kind of is a like a an, an isolated static not isolated it's just a static class that has been exposed uh, as al functions and number sequence is one of them so um, let's play with it um, so we can do we can do some some things we can say that if specify the name of object check whatever specific number sequence exists so let's call it youtube so we can say that if not youtube exists then let's create a number series uh, so we need the number sequence or number i keep saying number series because i'm brainwashed but but a number sequence um, so we can insert a new oops here we go this is one one so we can call it uh, youtube then you can you need to specify a seed so this is the starting number a and look that that sequences are just numeric numbers uh, potentially you could you if you want a prefix you do that on the side you do that but but uh, let's say you want invoice dash something then well the something is the number and that's what we will keep down in the sequence and then the the prefix you can just add anyway that doesn't change um, so let's start with a what what do we want to start one two three four that's a good number um, we need to specify our increment I'll do one on a traditional list uh, and then is this a company specific sequence or is this for all companies on this environment well, we can go with company here so now we have a number sequence meaning that we could go and say message number and i'll do number sequence and what i can get is that now i can get the current value so what is the current value but without incrementing I can also just say next and I want next from 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 YouTube um, that's it so uh, let's run this see what's happened uh, <laughs> we got a number so we can just actually, if we go and say sales and customers, we open this custom page again, we got the next number. So our number sequence works. Um, there's a couple of other things that we can do with this. So number sequence dot range. So we can actually ask to get a range of numbers. Oops. We still said that we want to get this from YouTube and then we specify how many numbers we we we, we need um either for company or our company um so you can you think about this uh, that as you just specifying the increment right so if you need 10 numbers you can ask for 10 numbers uh so we let's let's try this and say we were one two three five right now so if I do range here and then I do let's grab the parameter and say that I want five numbers. What do we get? So now we get six of 36 because that is the next number. But if we do this again, so I'll, I'll just do the same trick and opening the custom page again. Now we get 41 because we asked for those numbers. Um, so that is actually the, the whole, in, well, it's the, what is used instead of working with the traditional number, uh, number series. Um, I don't think, let's see if there's, well, there's, uh, you can restart it at a given uh range and you can of course delete it again if you want but that's it
that's how you get effective uh, unique numbers. So this can be used in a lot of cases. And I think Microsoft is going to use this in, in other places because they have some other cases where they could benefit from something like this. Uh, so I have heard rumors that they are going to use this in, in, in other places. And I could see this... Um, I, I, what I'm unsure about, for instance, is the uh, uh, maybe and maybe one of you guys after subscribing uh, want to test this out. Is this faster than using an auto increment uh, primary key? So think about that that we have the possibility of auto incrementing the primary key. Uh, but that has an overhead too. That has a price to pay on, on, on the SQL side of things. So would it be faster to use a number sequence instead of auto increment? Maybe. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that to you guys to figure out. Uh, right after you have, check out, wow, my fingers are going mad. Check out this AL hacking video. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.